What's up guys? I'm back with another video. Yes. So, went to a local That's a fail. Went to a local uh, motorsports shop today called Magic Racing in Michigan. And got some new grips. I've been wanting to put these on my KFX for a long time. I had them on my old blaster. And I was going to pull them off, but then I just said, well, screw it, I'll just buy new ones and throw them on here. So that's what we're going to do today. Simple process, but I like making videos for you guys. So I'm going to walk you through my procedure for putting these on. Okay, so first we're going to take scissors. And I just make a small incision. Well, I'll do it on this side so you guys can see. Basically just snip it along the end here until you hit the bar. Don't want to do it too hard, don't want to score your bars any. Almost getting through it now. There we go. Okay, this is the hardest part about cutting it. Once you get through and you have it cut like this, then you can just cut lengthwise across like so working the scissors down the line and they will just peel off like so and once you get to the end here I just sort of tug on it yeah, you guys can see that. Basically what I'm doing on this side is just spreading it apart like that. Just to get it right to the very end. And then you just keep snipping away at the very end of the grip. Cut it like that. Now she'll come right off. Once we get this glue broken loose, that is. I didn't do that yet. I just cut it. That's okay. We'll uh, clean it up after we get it off, that is. Okay, okay that one's off now. Whew. Okay, so next what I'm doing is just going around with a Phillips screwdriver and just taking all this old rubber off here want to make sure it's as clean as possible ideally we'd like to see some metal like that Sometimes it doesn't like to come off very easily, but other times it will. I'm also trying to do this one-handed, but... Surprisingly, this Phillips screwdriver works pretty well for this. It's taken all this off pretty easily, too. See? Just gently working at it. Breaking all the uh, old grip glue loose. And getting all this old rubber off, because I want this as clean as possible. Or the uh, 
new grip glued to adhere to. So I'm going to continue cleaning this off until it's nice and clean and uh, I'll join back with you guys then. One thing to note is that grip glue when it's on your bar tubes kind of looks like um, machined metal. Kind of looks shiny. But right there's some grip glue. Let's go ahead and take that off. This will come off for me. That'd be kind of nice. There's definitely some there. There we go. Probably doing this one handed. I wish my tripod could set up like this. Up here comfortably. But there we go. See, we're getting it off now. You want to get all as much of this off as you can when you're installing new grips. A razor blade would probably work better than a Phillips screwdriver like I am using. So I would recommend doing it with a Phillips or a razor blade or like a chisel of some sort maybe. Just run your, your fingers around the bar tube and feel for any ridges with your finger, with your uh, fingernail. If you feel something, just grind away in the area like that, check it. If it's smooth, find another area, grind it, smooth it. And just keep doing that until you end up with a nice clean tube like this. This tube is pretty much all smooth. And that's exactly what you want when you're um, mating a new surface. When you want to mate something to a surface, you want that mating surface to be uh, free of any old residue or debris. That's why over here I still have to get under here. There's still a little bit of actual grip stuck down there. So, gotta get that off. Okay, now got the uh, right side on. And one thing with ATB is you kind of just look to see if they uh, stamp a uh, R or an L into it, but if I had to say, I would just say they are universally that you can just flip-flop them like that. Now, I'm not completely sure, but I don't think the MX grips are like that because of the twist throttle. So uh, I'm just using Pro Taper grip glue. Last time I did this, I used Renthal grip glue. I just used Pro Taper just for the heck of it because I have this neat little application bottle. So basically what we're going to do, this stuff sets. You have to work kind of fast. It sets if my camera will focus in 10 to 25 seconds. So you have to line it up beforehand. Just sort of eyeball it. I kind of want the Pro Taper logo on the side of the grip to be level with the, we'll just say the ground, that's easy to reference. So basically what you do, on the last two inches of your um, handlebar over here, on the handlebar tube, that's where you're going to apply four beads of glue. And then you're going to dump, not dump, but you're going to spread some around inside, down in there so it grips there. So that's what I'm going to do. And I don't want these to be completely locked on there if I ever wanted to take them off again. So I'm just going to use that and it should be fine and dandy. Now I'm going to line that up and work it on. 
smooth it sets. Hopefully. You're gonna get glue all over yourself when doing this. Crap, I'm gonna have to uh, fight that one a little bit more. <laughs> I'll pick back up when I got that one on. That one didn't go on very easily. Well, I got that one on. Okay, so, pro tip don't let this freaking glue even cure a little bit. Uh, I mean, it is possible to get it on because I got it on all the way. And yes, I know there's a little gap right here, but I mean, this that is fully on the bar. I can't squeeze the I can't squeeze the uh, grip anymore, so that is fully on my bar. Um, but yeah, don't let this cure even a little bit. Basically, what I had to do was just lean, just put my palm like that, and just put all my weight into it and slide it across the uh, bar. But they're both on now. Move this stuff and get a nice view of it. So you probably hear my phone vibrating in my pocket. Somebody be texting me, yo. Be texting me. Okay, so that's what they look like. Uh, basically, my I'm going to be changing this quad up quite a bit. So basically, anything that's black is going to be green. Well, except for those heel guards. And then I'd like to find this back, this back half, in a white carbon fiber. And maybe if I can find the radiator scoops in a white carbon fiber. And then I don't know. I'm sure at one time they made this whole front clip in carbon fiber white, but I can't find it. And then I want to get a seat cover that's black on top, and this gray would be green. I know Kawasaki makes an OEM one like that, so try and pick one of those up. But yeah, guys, that's how you install grips. I know that's a pretty simple thing, but... I like making tutorial videos. It wasn't the best one, <laughs> but they'll get better as I do them, I promise. That was the first one I basically made, so they'll get better as I do them. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, dislike, leave feedback, and subscribe for more motorsport videos. Thank you.